Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new to my channel, welcome. Today we are discussing the week five recovery from my hysterectomy surgery. This video is going to be much shorter than the last few videos, much shorter I think. Um, because there really isn't a lot to cover in week five. I'm on week six currently and things have definitely started to die down. I don't know if that's a good use of words there, but things have started to kind of like mellow out and get a little bit back to normal. So there's not a lot going on here. I was filming a little bit ago and it started pouring outside. So the lighting is bad. You guys are getting a up close and personal shot of my skin right now, which feeling very insecure just going through a lot emotionally and feeling these things. It's difficult for me to put myself on camera through that, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video out to you guys. So let's start right away with week five recovery. Oh, and if you haven't watched the other videos, I will link them down below. Be sure to watch those first, but here we go. In week five, I went to my sister-in-law's high school graduation and I wore a very form-fitting dress and First of all, I didn't put this on my notes, but that was uncomfortable. I wore a tight dress, I wore Spanx, and after the fact, I finally took them off like towards the end of the day, and my body just, it was almost like my body could just breathe, and it felt so refreshing. So I do not advise wearing Spanx on week five, unless your doctor gives you some kind of belly um, binder, which mine did not, uh, but I did that. And so in week five, I wore that dress, and I also wore just, I was getting clothes that were a little more form-fitting, not so like baggy, and people were telling me that I have lost weight. I have heard it from a number of people that I have lost weight, which I am not complaining. Nobody says that I look sick necessarily, but I can definitely tell that I've lost weight. I could tell in my arms. I cannot tell in my face, but a lot of that's just because, again, I've been dealing with a lot of stress and there was a lot of crying involved, and so I definitely like am feeling a little puffier in the face. But I can tell in my body that I have lost weight. I could tell in my arms, I could tell in my legs when I wear shorts that used to be really tight on me. Now they are relatively loose, like they are not clinging to my body anymore. So that has happened. But with that weight loss, and I don't know if it is directly related to the surgery itself, if it's due to stress, if it's due to both combined, um, but this part I have heard is common. With losing weight and just with the surgery in general, I have, my boobs have gotten smaller and they have kind of deflated. So I don't know if I've discussed it on this channel before, but I do not wear bras because I've had a lot of things that have happened with my breasts. I've had to have testing for cancer and all that kind of stuff. And it's just not, look at me, I'm over here. You can't see grabbing myself. Um, I just prefer not to wear bras. And I know a lot of people have opinions about that, but I kind of came to the mindset like, if I am comfortable with it, why do you care what I'm wearing? It's, they're just boobs, they're just nipples, it's not a big deal. So I just walk around without wearing a bra. But for the first time, and I think again, a lot of this is just the, the emotional stuff that I'm going through and just feeling bad about myself in general. And I'm trying to be honest with you guys, I'm just feeling awful about myself, which I've just never dealt with that regardless of things that I felt were wrong with my body. I've always been very confident. Um, but I'm just feeling very insecure about my boobs. They just, I like them being small, but being deflated, I just, I liked my boobs because regardless of have, having had two kids, breastfeeding, they were natural. I've never had a problem with them. And right now, I'll just be honest, it is a little bit difficult because it's noticeable to me. Um, it's definitely enough that I notice a difference. And other people have noticed, other people have noticed that my boobs gotten smaller. Of course, my husband has noticed a change in my body. I don't know if they will grow back. Some people gain weight, some people their boobs get larger, some people they get smaller. I think a lot of it just has to do with the, hormone, the hormonal changes that your body is going through with getting rid of your female reproductive system. So we will see where that goes from this point on. I had my first hair appointment, which you can't tell because today my hair is just, this is 
fresh out, fresh out of the shower last night and sleeping on it, but I did have my first hair appointment. It looked really good yesterday. I don't know why I watched it before this video, but I had my first hair appointment where I went and got my roots touched up. My roots were growing out bad, and I was able to sit through that three and a half hour appointment with no pain, no discomfort, and that was something I was kind of worried about. I pushed my appointment way back because I didn't want to be sitting in a chair putting stress on my body, not being able to get up and move. But my stylist was also really great. And if I did have a problem, she was gonna be perfectly fine with me walking around. But basically my body is feeling okay to where I can sit for long periods of time, like at a hair appointment, and not deal with any like immediate discomfort or just feelings while I'm sitting in the chair. Um, so I did that. It felt good to be back in the chair, especially when I have been feeling bad about myself. Like just having that refresh and having the blowout, it just felt good. And I was very thankful for it. And I'm just like right now in the moment learning to appreciate the little things. And that was one of the little things that had a huge impact on the way I felt during recovery. And then lastly, for week five, I have definitely dealt with PMS symptoms. And again, this recovery is so hard to track and to talk about because I don't know what is being caused by just going through so much of my personal life, what is being caused by the surgery of my body. But on week five, which would have, would have been when I would have had my period, should I have a uterus, because every month, you know, I go like four weeks and then my period comes. Um, I definitely, I think, experienced PMS symptoms. And I say I think because again, emotional stuff, I was already crying, I was feeling mad, I was doing a lot of that stuff just on my own. So then I had two to three days where it would have been aligned with my period where I just felt very, very angry. I felt very easily to set off. I felt like I needed to be off on my own. I felt like there were people that I was angry with that I wanted to like physically hurt. It was a very aggressive PMS. And I think that's just my body going through that and then also just dealing with stuff emotionally. So, but that is something if you keep your ovaries, and I think even if you don't keep your ovaries, there are still things like maybe with the brain that can happen, but if you keep your ovaries, you still have your hormones. So even though you don't have blood coming out of your body, your body is still going through those hormonal changes. So anytime that you would ovulate previously, you're still gonna feel those changes within your body. So I definitely experienced that, and I'm interested to see how that holds up or changes throughout recovery because I think as things kind of change and adjust, you feel different things. Um, so we will see, and again, that's another thing that if I have to come back six months later and update you guys, I definitely will, but I wanted to mention it here in this video. And that's really all that happened in week five. As far as I know, I've been trying my best to keep track of notes while dealing with my own stuff, but week five was a pretty uneventful week for the most part. So I will be seeing you guys in week six, which I am on week six now. I'm playing catch up for these videos. Um, but yeah, that will be coming up soon. So be sure to watch all the past videos. Be sure to keep a follow for all of the new videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.